guys, welcome back to Betsy. Um, we're gonna go through everything that I usually go through for checking and making sure that I keep going down the road with her. And I'm also going to do a change out spark plugs and do an oil change. Uh, but first I'm gonna just take you through general gist of what I check on her, so. Okay, so this is Betsy's engine compartment. It's a 22RE, um, 2.7 liter. So what I do is I just quickly run over and do a visual inspection, make sure everything is still plugged in, make sure all the hoses are still attached. Um, just a general idea. So when you first get your RV, always just open up the hood, do a visual inspection. If something's really off to you, then there's something wrong. And that's a good idea of what's going on with it. The second thing I do is I kind of come over here. I make sure this is my brake fluid. Um, I make sure that this is up to the fill line or max line. This is my slave cylinder, which is controlling the clutch because this is a hydraulic clutch. Um, so basically you push it down and the hydraulic fluid goes. I have a little bit of a leak in the slave cylinder, so I'll probably replace that a little bit later on, but not a huge deal. It's a slight leak when I do um, hold it all the way down. The next thing I do is I go ahead and check out the coolant. So you wanna check this only when it's cool. So you go right here, you lift up that, twist it. If it's full, fill when it's cool, then that's good. If it's hot, don't open this, wait until the engine is at a pretty cool temperature because then it will steam up and flash you in the face and that's not good. And then the second thing is make sure that you have coolant in there because when this radiator heats up, uh, liquid expands and then the extra liquid gets dropped into his, this tank and then when this tank is full then it drains out here so you want to make sure that this tank has a little bit of coolant because when it cools down it goes back in so that's one of the things um, so right now I'm just gonna put you guys in a time lapse I'm going to go ahead and change all four spark plugs and do an oil change at the bottom <laughs> This is the old spark plug. It's a little dirty. It's not too bad. I could clean these off and reuse them. Um, I just don't want to have this cold of a plug in a hot engine. So I want to have a little bit of a hotter one, which is the KGI um, G Power. Because what happens is the spark is a lot hotter. Sorry about the mess, but it's a lot hotter. And instead of having a dull point, it kind of has a very, very rigid point. I don't know if you can see that, but it has a rigid point to have a hotter spark um, to hopefully get all of the fluid or all of the gasoline that's vaporized to really set on fire while I drop everything. So you go from that dull point to that kind of point. I just wanted to show you the difference. I'm gonna go ahead and install this guy. Luckily I didn't drop this one, otherwise we would have a problem. Um, don't, spark, don't drop your spark plugs. They kind of can get damaged and can go bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the last one in and then I'll start the oil change. But I just wanted to let you guys know. So three of the spark plugs in. So basically just go down the line. Go start with one. Don't pull all the wires because then you're going to lose your timing and then you'll have to figure that out. Extra steps, don't need to. Take one, take the spark plug out, put in the new one, tighten it down, and then just make sure it's just a quarter turn tight and then you're good. Then put the spark plug wire back on and then continue on the succession. As you can see, I have the last one out. So, just so, rule of thumb, don't take all the spark plug wires out. I know it'll be easy just to get back timing, but don't think, <laughs> just do. That's what I always say. So
All right, so what I do to finish out any oil change, um, a big tip that I have, usually I like to keep the oil cap, the oil fill cap, right on the latch, because when you go to try to close it, um, it kind of jerks you and reminds you, hey, <laughs> you didn't fill up your oil, or you didn't do something. Um, so that's my little reminder to myself to always leave the oil cap there. Just a little inside tip. But I already filled up the oil. Um, I drained the oil. I took off the filter. I changed out the filter. Um, I filled back up the oil. I then checked it and made sure that I had enough oil in there. I went to go ahead and start it to let the filter fill up and let the oil pressure fill back up. And then uh, you just basically do a visual inspection. See if there's any oil around. See if anything's pissing out because that means that you either need, you forgot your oil, um, your oil drain plug or your filter and that's a bad thing. Um, then you would have to go ahead and tighten it. So basically just start it, give it a second, then turn it off. You'll hear a noise change. So the next thing that you want to do, there goes my hat, yay. So the next thing you're going to do is basically start it, check the oil after that, see if you have to add a little bit more. I've already done that, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my oil cap back on. And she is ready to get on the road. So that's what I basically do for routine maintenance. Um, I hope you enjoyed, let me get you out of the sun. Uh, that's what I do for routine maintenance. Um, if you like what you see here, go ahead and like and subscribe, and I hope you enjoy. Thanks, bye.